Hello and welcome to Mission Control for the ISS Above. I created this gadget because I'm so inspired by the International Space Station and what it represents for the world. And I say it makes a difference when you know that this football field sized piece of human engineering is in your skies. And even more importantly, that you happen to know that the only six human beings in space are above you right now. After the first Kickstarter in February last year, there are now over 800 of them around the world, flashing away as a beacon of inspiration to all who could see it. So this is an ISS above. It's built using Raspberry Pi. It's really simple to use. All you do is just plug in your TV to the HDMI port, plug in Ethernet to your home router into this port here, then you plug in the power, and then within just a few minutes, you start seeing mission control for the International Space Station, including these detailed graphical information screens about the future passes of the ISS. Also, the current expedition crew members, and then a world map showing the current position of the ISS in its orbit. Whenever the ISS is in sunlight, that's the yellow portion of the orbit here, that's when the cameras on the space station are active. This is what that looks like. You can imagine just for a moment what it must be like for the astronauts who are living up there at this very moment. So what is this Kickstarter about? Well, it's all about more lights and bigger lights and even wearable lights. And the way that's gonna be possible is through this little device called a Pulsar. This is a custom designed piece of technology that's been created with my partnership with Acrobotic and the super clever Cisco Zabala. So here is a close up of the Pulsar. It's built using an RF Duino, which includes a Bluetooth LE chip plus a real time clock. And that's what makes possible the wearable version of the ISS above. It has a Pulsar on the back and on the front, it's got a ring of LEDs. It's just plugged into a five volt battery of the sort that you get to charge your phone. And when you plug it in, the nearest ISS above will detect it and then automatically program it with up to 50 future passes of the ISS. How cool is that? If you want to use one of those big LED strips, but you don't need the flexibility of the Pulsar, we do actually have this device, which is an ISS Pi Hat. This allows you just to connect it directly onto your ISS above, plug in one of those big LED strips, and away you go. If you have any questions, just ask. I'll be the one that's likely to be responding to you. So I'll leave it with this. Thank you so much for taking this time to watch this video. Behind me, we've actually got live views from the space station right this very moment as I'm recording this and uh, you too could enjoy these views as well for yourself. Just back the project. Thank you so much. Goodbye.